Mary Golda Ross was the first known Native American female engineer and the first female engineer in the history of Lockheed. She was one of the 40 founding engineers of the renowned and highly secretive Skunk Works project at Lockheed Corporation. Mary was a dedicated Lockheed employee from 1942 until her retirement in 1973. During her 31 years at the company, she was best remembered for her work on aerospace design, including the Agena rocket program. Mary also worked on numerous design concepts for interplanetary space travel, manned and unmanned Earth orbiting flights, and the earliest studies of orbiting satellites for both defense and civilian purposes. Born in the small town of Park Hill, Oklahoma, Mary was the great-great-granddaughter of Cherokee Chief John Ross, who led the Cherokee people on their arduous trail of tears. She was a talented child and by age 20 earned a bachelor degree in mathematics from Northeastern State Teachers College and received her master's degree from the Colorado State Teachers College. She moved to California to begin her career at Lockheed as a mathematician. By the late 1960s, Mary became a senior advanced systems staff engineer working on the Polaris reentry vehicle, Poseidon. and Trident missiles. After retiring in 1973, Mary continued to encourage women and Native American youth to pursue careers in math and engineering. She was inducted into the Silicon Valley Engineering Hall of Fame in 1992 and was a Society of Women Engineers Fellow. Mary died in April 2008, several months before her 100th birthday, and left a $400,000 endowment to the National Museum of the American Indian in Washington, D.C. Tonight, we honor Mary Golda Ross with her induction into the Women in Aviation International Pioneer Hall of Fame.